become, the more anti-Christian that I see our culture becoming, the more anti-Bible, the more anti-Jesus that I see the, the, the world becoming around me, the more likely I am to start hating people. You see what? I'm just being honest. The more likely I am to start hating people. But the Bible says that my battle is not against flesh and blood. It's against spiritual wickedness. It's against principality, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places, right? My battle's against the spirit behind the decisions people make, not the person. You see what I'm saying? So the more likely I am to allow hate and judgment and condemnation and bitterness and resentment and all these things, I, I'm more likely to allow them to build up in my heart the darker that I see the world become around me. See, that stuff's not in the heart of God, though. So what's it doing in my heart? You, you see what I'm saying? Jesus is on the cross. You all got to see this, the heart of God. Jesus is on the cross. They had just beaten him. They had just put a crown of thorns on his head. They had just whipped him with the cat of nine tails. They had ripped the beard out of his face and spit on him. Whew, sorry. And they nailed him to a cross, put, put spikes in his feet and, and nails in his wrists. And they put him on the cross and they're standing in front of him mocking him. They're saying, he saved others, why can't he save himself? And what did Jesus say? He looked down and said, I condemn you, you wicked sinner. He didn't say that, did he? He said, Father, forgive them. Why? They don't know what they're doing. That's God's heart. That's the kind of stuff that fills God. Does it fill my heart? 